at the time stop and he could not stop the car the car was actually going very fast quand ils arrivaient au dans le bas charitable she was happy there are still helpful people quand ils arrivèrent au d'en face so mur is a wall no um that's um a path that's a square and that the sidewalk okay so once they reached the sidewalk what did she do she thanked the little boy so we're looking for a preposition a pronoun that replaces the boy here this replaces a location we need a pronoun so a is not possible remercier quelqu'un needs a direct object this verb therefore we cannot use lui because lui goes with the verb that requires a preposition such as à de par pour or sans so lui is not possible the proper answer will be le it replaces the boy and it's a direct object pronoun qu'il en fut un peu how did the slow boy feel after he was thanked so many times by this old lady uh, confus be very careful is a false cognate it doesn't mean confused but it means embarrassed um, embrasser means to kiss détourner uh, would be like if a freeway is closed you have to take another freeway so they make you move and rougi means to uh, blush so the proper answer here is um, he was actually embarrassed that's a now we have completed part c of the reading section we're going to move on to part d now we're reaching the last part of the test part d part d you have a longer passage and you have questions the best way to deal with this part is to actually read the questions first and then try to find the answers in the text 71 71 la phrase vous aurez le coup de foudre pour le livaro signifie okay what is the meaning of the sentence vous aurez le coup de foudre pour le livaro let's try to find out this sentence in the text the sentence is here Ah, vous achèterez le livaro, vous chercherez le livaro, vous tomberez amoureux du livaro ou vous comparez le livaro au camembert. Le coup de foot means to fall in love at first sight. Therefore, you will fall in love. We need to find for we need to look for a synonym of to fall in love. Um, acheter means to buy, chercher means to look for. Comparerai means to compare, so C is the proper answer. To fall in love with the Livaro. Le Livaro is a cheese. Let's look at question 72. Le Livaro est né. A. Au 19e siècle. À Lisieux. En Basse-Normandie. Ou au 17e siècle. When was the Livaro born? Let's go back to the text. So, let's try to find this sentence where they say where it was born. Ce fromage fermier doit son nom à la petite ville de Livaro. Okay? Située près de Lisieux. Lisieux. Okay, so they do mention les yeux. Lieu de, des pèlerinages à Sainte Thérèse de l'Enfant Jésus. Okay, so, and here they say, on soupçonne que le Livaro est né, keyword, vers la fin du Moyen-Âge en Basse-Normandie. Okay, let's go back to our questions. They do mention les yeux, okay? And they do mention also uh, Basse-Normandie. 
So let's go back. He, the cheese was born in, in the city of Livaro, not in the city of Lisieux. Okay? Livaro is next to Lisieux. So it's not born here, actually. Uh, what do they say about this 19e siècle? Okay, this 19e siècle, here, this 19e siècle, you see it? This 19e siècle, they say that it started to be really well known. It was um, apogee, mean it rich, like the top cells, okay? That cheese. So, no mention that it was born at that time. It just means that this cheese did really well in the 19th century. Okay, so this is not the answer. Au 17e siècle. So, 17e siècle is here. It was not born at the 17th century. It was just appreciated. Okay, so the answer is C en Basse Normandie. 73, 73. Lisieux est une ville connue pour A. Ses fromageries. Cheese shop. B. Ses lieux saints. Secret places. C. Ses fermes. Um, its farms. And D. His cows. Ok, so let's go back. Ah, there must have there must be some cheese shop there, okay, if they produce cheese, okay? There must be some farms there because um, that's what you need to make some cheese, okay? You need to have some milk. So there must be some cows too. So all of them uh, in this context are possible, okay? But let's see why this particular city is famous for. Is it because of the cheese? We'll see. So why is this city famous? Okay. They say here in the second sentence, ce fromage fermier, this cheese, um, doit son nom à la petite ville de Livaro. Okay. So the name was borrowed from the city Livaro, okay, which is close to Lisieux. And Lisieux was a pilgrimage, pilgrimage place. Okay. Um, and here they're mention of Jesus. Jesus. So the answer here is that this city is not known for their cheese. It's not known for the farms or the cows, but because it's a pilgrimage place. Seventy-four. On mentionne toutes les caractéristiques suivantes de, ce fro de ces fromages, sauf sa croûte. So we're mentioning all the characteristics of this cheese, except sa croûte, the crust of the cheese, its shape, sa pâte, its dough, or its taste, son goût. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here they are talking about ce fromage fait à partir du lait de vache. It's made with cow milk. Okay. They talk about the taste here, saveur. Okay. Which is a bit strong, prononcé. They talk about the shape of the cheese, form, which is like a cylinder. Tout comme le camembert, they talk about the dough. They say it's a soft cheese, pâte molle. The only thing that they did not mention is the crust of the cheese. 78. So they mentioned the shape. It's like a cylinder. They talked about the dough. Uh, it's, a, it's a cheese that is soft, like camembert. They talk about the taste, that is a strong taste, but they did not talk about the crust. So, proper answer is 74. This is the end of the test. I thank you for your attention. You have been prepared for SAT2 French course. I wish you great luck for your test. You are now ready 
to get the best scar ever.